Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Sometimes I get on ModDB and I start going all through their mods and just stuff that came out because I just love mods, especially for Total War, but I search other games like Star Wars Empire at War or stuff like that, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, and I look at Medieval 2 because I haven't really looked at that for a while. I found this mod called Steam and Still Total War. The story goes with this mod is it's a relatively new mod. They've been working on it for a little over a year, but recently in July they re they released their version 1.0. Now, uh, in September, they've released a version 1.01, and in late December, they are going to be releasing their 1.1 patch. This mod has got me excited to honestly play Medieval 2 again. I wanted to quickly show you what this mod is about. So, if you go to the Grand Campaign, you can actually go to their factions, all these factions. So, we'll go to the Qing Empire, you got Tokugawa Shogunate, Kingdom of the Netherlands, Russian Empire, Italy, Argentina, which is really cool. Emirate of Afghanistan, Kingdom of Spain, Sultanate of Morocco, Ottomans, Kahar, Kingdom of Thailand, Second French Empire. They do the Victorian era like 1837 to 1901, but right now you're starting in 1860. Maybe that version 1.1 patch will change things. I know that they're going to be adding intros to each faction too. As we get into the campaign, it, it's going to blow you away. I love this mod. Tremendous potential to become top tier. It's just, I think it's just fun. Uh, so you got Britain. You also have right here the Confederate States. Yes, you can play as the Confederates in 1860 on this Medieval 2 Total War mod. How about that? I think we found our ACW. I've kind of been waiting for a mod that where you can do this. The ACW mod for Empire is, I mean, it's aged now and you just there's only a certain point that you play to and then it crashes all the time. You can also do the United States. So there's a lot of potential here. I mean, look at it totally different. You have campaign rules. Right now they don't have much into this. Maybe that'll change in the 1.1 patch. But I've got a... I started a, a small campaign here with the Confederate States of America. I've, I've probably got like two turns into it. But I'm ready to like... I just want to show a battle and do something very unorthodox. So let's try that and let's go in and I'll show you the map. Here we are at the map. Now as you can see if we look at the bottom left it is pretty much the whole world. Like, this is totally... I have played Third Age, I have played Warhammer, I have played Stainless Steel. There's mods that I've played that I've probably forgotten about. I've been playing Total War mods maybe since 2011, 2012, somewhere in there. Even Planet War Total War did that a long time ago. That's still around. But there's something about this one that it changes things. Like, it's totally changed the game. I'm just... I'm honestly, I'm just mesmerized. To be honest with you, I'm just mesmerized at how they did this. It's a large map too. There's probably a lot of regions. Wow, this is amazing. Now, th there's some stuff that's not finished yet in the mod. They still have to add the music and you can see the flags. Some of the flags, I guess for the fort or something, I guess they're empty. Obviously they're empty, so yeah, maybe that'll change in the 1.1 patch coming. But I got it set up here to just kind of have a battle. Yes, sir. You start off as not at war and you start in 1860 and before we hold on before we do that i want to show you that we don't get any missions for a while the victory conditions are not quite there yet. 238 turns i know you started in 1860 right now that might change in the 1.1 path each faction that you start as has a little intro but right now i want to show you the battle Lord. let's do the battle and you start off not at war with the united states so Prepare let's the troops for battle. but we can go ahead and assault it because i have artillery so let's try that. Well, we're kind of even. Nice. Let's let's fight this I battle. Shall... I want to check this out and see what see what this mod is about, especially in the battles. They got Forward. arts. Wow. Look, look at these. Look at the detail, especially for like medieval two total war. Let, even look at the towns. Now I don't know about this right here, guys. Uh, you might want to fix that. Uh, <laughs> that is. I don't mind it because it's it's kind of funny and it's cool. Oh, I hear the church bells. Nice. I can tell they put a lot of love and a lot of care into this. Let's go ahead and get on to the battle. I do have the unit size set to the highest you can set, and it's 100 units. I don't know. I think they should probably... I would increase that just a little bit, maybe. Oh, let's get our... Let's get this formation going. There we go. Okay. I will say that right now I'm not going to do a series on this, on this mod right now. I'm going to wait... I'll probably wait until the... I'd like to wait until the 1.1 the patch comes.
comes out, which will supposed to be at the end of December. It was supposed to come out in October, I think, and then they just, I guess they got really into what they were doing, so they, I guess, pushed it till December. However, I got the cab running. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, now they're running. Okay. No, no, that took them, I took them a little bit to register there. Um, is, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh my god. That is accurate. Whoa. The, oh, okay. That was cool. Here comes another one. I don't know what... Oh, nice. We'll just hit them with artillery. This is just... This is... I am so excited about Medieval 2 again. I don't lie. Oh, wow. Extremely excited. I mean, it could be a Confederate campaign and a United States campaign. I mean, hell, well, why not? Oh, okay. A little bit, it's a little, it's dropping a little bit in FPS. Especially when you get in a little close. Okay, they are able to fire. Oh my word, the buildings are destroying all around us. Okay, re refocus. Right there. Okay, go ahead and form up. I want you to fire. This is... Okay, guys, it's time to give us some volleys here. Come on. Give us some volleys. Come on. Are they going to fire? I did lose losing a lot of them. Well, okay, I had some other troops over here. At least, oh, there's oh, the, enemy the enemy general. Oh, my. Now his men will lose heart. Well, maybe the siege battle is not the best right now. The yeah, artillery does really well, though. Oh, nice. Hit them right there, come on. Some more artillery shots. Oh! Okay, the turn is a little weird on the... There we go. Oh my god, this artillery... The artillery is deadly in this mod. There we go. This is just, this is so cool. Really good Medieval 2 mod. It's still, it's still new, relatively new. Uh, they're adding stuff, but I think this 1.1 patch will really bring it to life. I'm gonna press Alt on the keyboard and just charge them. I don't, I don't know if I win this battle, but I just wanted to show, show you the battle. The battle is very much in our favor. There we if go. We remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I think overall, just a couple of bugs that need to be worked on, but I mean, this is, I mean, this is a great start. I mean, but like I said before, I probably won't, will not do a series on this until maybe that 1.1 patch comes out in late December, which is only about three to four weeks away. I mean, I don't know, maybe they'll be changing the map, they'll be working on the maps as well. But so far, th I think this is a tremendous start, especially the campaign map. I mean, wow. Our foe is utterly vanquished. And that's that's Let it. Let all who glorify this it. day remember it as a day of victory in all its glory. Up oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll have Huzzah! to do the strict discipline thing. Uh, so I guess, wow, that's I'm getting a little bit more money now. Okay, well, so we'll go here, Grand Campaign. We'll go to United States and start. Well, this one did not have an intro. I do know that the when I started as the Confederates, they had a little, you know, written intro there 
they do plan on implementing those intros for the factions. I'm going to leave it here. Um, thank you for joining me for this very exciting mod for Medieval 2. This has got me excited to play the game again. This would be hours and hours and hours of fun playing Medieval 2 again in a different setting, a different time with the whole world map. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This is I'm just I'm just in awe. I think when the 1.1 patch comes out in late December, I am going I might do a series on this. This would be exciting. I don't know whether to do the Confederates or the United States or something else. This totally got me excited. So I just wanted to share this with you. When the 1.1 patch comes out, I will update you all as well uh, on the progress of this mod. So thank you all for watching. I do enjoy making. They're a lot of fun. Go check out my other videos. I got a couple of things going on in Empire 2 as well. So I'm a big Total War mod fan. That's just me. So, But until next time, remember to like, share the video. It helps the channel. Go ahead and subscribe to get updates on whenever I upload. Turn on those notifications. And we'll see you again soon.